Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and if you're in the market for an edge-to-edge -edge tempered glass screen protector for your iPhone 8 Plus, you might want to step it up a notch and look at Zag's Glass Plus 360. So here you're going to get tempered glass screen protection, which is edge-to-edge -edge for the front of your phone, as well as a hybrid glass back for the back of the phone, and a clear bumper for the sides. So you've got front, back, and sides protection. It's going to give you 3x shatter protection and maintain a very slim profile. Let's install this on my iPhone 8 Plus and see what it looks like. Looking at the contents of the box, we appear to be well supplied for the install of the screen protector and back protector. So first of all, we have our clear bumper. This is a clear, flexible plastic material. We also have the front protector, the back protector. We have two wet wipes. We have a microfiber cloth, and we have a dust removal sticker. So first of all, we want to start by getting our phone clean. Cleanliness is probably the most important aspect of a successful screen protector install. So you want to make sure that you are extremely clean, that there is no dust or dirt or oils or anything like that remaining on the surface of your phone. You can use your wet wipe to start off the process. Then use the microfiber cloth to dry. Once you've cleaned your screen with the wet wipe and dried it with the microfiber cloth, you'll probably want to use the dust removal sticker to remove any remaining dust from your screen. Cleanliness is really crucial. Be sure to put the dust removal sticker and the microfiber cloth away to the side because you'll be using them again when you install the back protector. Once your phone is beautiful and clean and dust free, it's going to be time to install the screen protector. So what you want to do first is peel back this layer here to expose the adhesive side. And then you're going to turn the whole thing over without touching the adhesive. You can use these little handles here we have on the top and bottom. That definitely helps. And then press it into place on top. This is going to cover the entire front of your screen. Those of you with sharp eyes might notice we are looking at a black fronted screen protector and I have a white fronted phone. So sorry, that's just what Zag ended up sending me. So I think it's going to have kind of an interesting look. It's going to give me a rather hybrid looking phone. That will be rather interesting as a result. But do be assured that Zag does offer this product in both a white front and a black front. They just sent me the wrong one. But it's going to be the same install anyway, so I think that it will be okay. So it's key when you're doing this, first of all, definitely don't touch the adhesive. And also, right before you go to install it, go over it with a dust removal sticker just one more time to make sure that there is no outstanding dust because dust is the enemy of a successful screen protector install. When peeling off the back to expose the adhesive on the screen protector, be aware that this is a rigid plastic back and takes a little bit of doing to peel off. Don't just peel the little sticker off here because that's not going to work. You need to peel off this entire hard white plastic back in order to expose the adhesive. Next, you want to take the screen protector and lay it down very carefully. Look at the position of the home button and your microphone and speaker holes and make sure everything is positioned correctly before laying it down entirely. You can use your fingers to remove any remaining bubbles. Once you're reasonably satisfied with the install, carefully peel back the outer plastic layer to expose the screen protector. And there you go, actually looking pretty good. It looks a little bit odd with the completely black front, but I think I kind of like it. Anyway, definitely mixes things up a bit. Now we're going to go through the same procedure with our hybrid glass back protector. We need to clean the back of the phone and then put the back protector into place. Fortunately, we have another one of these wet wipes. It comes with two, as I mentioned before. And go over it with our microfiber cloth. You want to remove any dust you happen to see. Once the back of your phone is perfectly clean and dust free, you're going to want to peel off this sticker marked one so that the back of the back protector adhesive will be exposed. And then you need to put down the back protector, pay attention to the alignment on the sides and on the bottom, and then make sure this part is going to go underneath the camera. And once you have things aligned perfectly straight, let it go and then it will adhere properly. Be careful not to touch the adhesive back. You can use these little holder things. 
Get things as straight as you can, and then draw a line with your finger along the middle to start the adhesion process. Once everything appears to have adhered correctly and you don't have any more visible bubbles, you can peel back the outer plastic layer and then you will be done. Looks pretty good to me. Your final step in installing the Glass Plus 360 is to put on the flexible plastic bumper. It's recommended that you start from the back and then slide it on on the one side and then put it around on the others. Looking at the results of our install, I'm overall really quite impressed with this product. I think that the screen protector is excellent. Really love the look and feel of it. Has a fantastic feel underneath the fingers, wonderful oleophobic coating, absolutely no issue in terms of sensitivity, and overall I think that it's definitely an addition to the phone. The back protector does show a few more fingerprints and smears, but overall has a very nice feel to it. It's this hybrid glass, and so that's not going to be as fingerprint resistant as the screen protector is going to be but it's going to provide more protection and that's what you need on the back of the phone so I think that you're going to show more fingerprints and smears with a space gray phone as opposed to the silver phone that I have here or with a gold phone um, I really don't see much of an issue here with silver but I noticed when I installed this on the iPhone 10 in space gray that the back protector did show a lot more smears so do be aware of that but overall I think it's really very good the only thing that I'm really disappointed with with this product is the bumper. So the bumper is just really very basic. Now everything is okay. I mean there's no issue with the port openings. They're all fine. Your buttons work just fine. No issues there. There is sufficient protection for your protruding camera. No problems. And you can get to your mute switch. There's no issue. However, it just has a cheap feel and the fit is really not optimal. You can definitely pull this away from the phone and it just does not have the high-end feel that the back protector and the screen protector have. Good news is that you should be able to use the back protector and screen protector with other bumpers. So you may just want to get this and simply not use the bumper case that is included with this because it's really not giving much value added to the package at all. Again, we've been looking at the Glass Plus 360 by Zag for iPhone 8 Plus. This product is available directly from Zag as well as from other retailers, and it has an MSRP of $69.99. It comes in two colors, black and white. Obviously, I have the wrong color here for my silver iPhone, but I think it looks kind of cool anyway. Many thanks to the kind folks at Zag for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this product, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have lots more great accessory reviews yet to come. Again, this is Kristen, and this is the Zag Glass Plus 360 for iPhone 8 Plus. Have a fantastic day.